crumpets, please take their places. The show is about to begin. Thank you. Garbo, you know our number one rule. Remind me. No puppets. Ah, shucks. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, hey, Louie here. I don't know where Randy is, so I guess I'll do the introduction. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Rat Pack. Okay, so you see, I just pulled a little prank. Now, uh, okay, I've replaced Roxanne's can of perfume with an air horn. <laughs> that would just squeeze the little knob. Instead of lovely scent, she'll get a nice loud noise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Louie, really? Oh, come on now. I was just having a little fun. Don't any of you have a sense of humor? We all have senses of humor. This is a comedy variety show. But there's such thing as too much, you know? Have you ever thought of just, you know, stopping all this pranking, even just for a little bit? <laughs> stop pranking? I could never stop pranking. Practical jokes are my life. Let me tell you all about it. I have fun playing pranks. Playing pranks is fun. I go and prank all of my friends. Pranking everyone. So much fun playing jokes. Fooling all these other folks. The joy of pranking. The joy of pranking. The joy of pranking. Snakes and cans and rubber spiders. Icky gooey slime. Yuck! Water buckets. Confetti cannons. A glass of pickle brine. <laughs> Why the mice? Muffin shoes. Soap on your toothbrush. All these things put together make practical jokes inside. The joy of pranking. The joy of pranking! I do love pranking. Love pranking. So you see what I mean? Practical jokes are my life. You can sit here and sing that song as many times as you want, but I'm still not convinced that pranking is something you could do for a living. Haha. <laughs> well, I guess the only way that we can settle this is through a prank war. Uh, I don't think that's a- You're on, Furball! Ha! <sighs> this should be interesting. <gasps> Frank, can you roll cooking with Chef Gator? Oh. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Salty. Oh, oh, oh geez. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to Cooking with Chef Gator. Today, I am going to show you to ma how to make the best and most fanciest dish of all time. Ready? Lobster! Stop squirming around, would you? Now, let me show you how to do it. <coughs> ah! Oh! No, you're going to make sure that you have the biggest pot ever because these things take forever to boil. Okay, now, uh, alright, let me just, uh, put, put the, stop squirming around you. Ah, let's put the lobster in the pot and we will boil it and wait. Timer! Oh, oh boy, okay. He looks like he's ready. Okay, let's bring, bring him out on the plate and get all the butter and all that good stuff. Alrighty, let's bring out the plate and, uh, oh, perfect. The lobster. Now let's get some butter. 
All right, let me open up the container of butter here. Mm. Uh, oh, dropped it on the floor. Oh, why did everything? Why do I have to make butter so slippery? No, don't like it. Okay, uh, let me get the the knife. Okay, let me get the butter and just spread it on the lobster. There we go. You can't have lobster without butter, you know. Alright, perfect. Okay, now it is time for my favorite part. The eating. Let us go! Oh, and bring the lobster too. Ah, but look at this. We've come out with the perfect lobster here. Best I've ever made. It's very small, but it is bite-sized for a gator. Oh, so big, Ah! Ah! Shit! Ugh! Need to dance with the dance with is so bitter. Ah, uh, my turn doesn't feel right. Ah. Uh. I think I've set up a prank better than Louis could ever do. I spread glue all over the doorknob. So when he comes in here, his hand will get stuck to the door. There we go. I... What the heck? Aha! Uh -huh. You've just been pranked. Uh, you did this? To... Yes, I did. <laughs> Good luck getting out of that one. Okay, that's going a little too far. Oh, oh, oh yeah? That's the best you can do? Well, listen, I've got a prank better than you could ever. Uh. Paul. Uh. And now, poetry from Herb the Troll. Okay, uh, Randy, you ready? I'm ready. I'm honestly kind of excited, you know, I don't get to do much besides MC. Great, you got your little lamb? I do. Come on out, buddy. <laughs> this isn't actually my lamb, though. I borrowed it from the bedtime bunch. Okay. Pedro, you gonna accompany me on piano? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> this is a very special poem I wrote myself. Randy had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Randy went, the lamb was sure to go. Herb. Herb. Hang on. Followed him to the crumpet house one day to see how far it could run. And it ran into a big canary, yellow as the sun. That's, um, that's not very... Yeah, Herb, that's not very original. You know what, that's lame. I'm going to rewrite that. <sighs> okay. Can we start over? Don't ask. Alright. <laughs> Randy had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Randy went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed him to school one day. It made the children laugh and play. School? Children? I'm an adult! But it's only a poem. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. It followed him to school one day and made the grown ups, see what I did there? Laugh and play to see a sheep in school. Herb, I'm just saying this as a friend, trying to help. That was the dumbest thing you've ever read. Wait, you're just gonna leave me here? Herb, that's not original. You're just plagiarizing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I, I, I can't stick around for this. I I'm sorry, man. I gotta go. That, that was terrible. Duh. Why should I even trust them anymore? That poem was bad. <laughs> huh. Roxanne thinks she's such a genius. Let me show you the prank I'm pulling over here. So you see... This is the costume closet. If you did not know, Roxanne handles all the costumes and makeup on our show. 
So when she comes in here to gather everybody's costumes for the day. Wow. So, 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 so. That'll scare her real good. Oh, I think I hear her coming. I better hide. So I need to give Garbo's cape, Pedro's extra sweater, and most importantly, Herb's top hat. You've just been pranked for the second time today. Well, that wasn't a very clever prank, you know. Anyone could have thought of that. Well, if it was so lame, then why were you so scared? <laughs> Okay, Sugar, since you were a good little boy, I have some pastries for you downstairs. Whoa! Hey, 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 Claus here, and welcome to Claus's Playhouse. This show that's about nothing but fun and games. Now, today we are going to do something crazy. We're going to do a stunt. Yes, so our goal is to get this little monkey right here, isn't he cute, into that hoop. Yes. Now, uh, let me see. Am I tall enough to reach it? <laughs> nope, I'm gonna need a friend, dog. Uh, Irwin! Uh, okay, so my good friend Irwin, this adorable little white rabbit, he is going to help me get that monkey into the hoop. Okay? Now. Neither of us are tall enough, so I'm going to have to put you on the top of my shoulders. Claude, that's a bad idea. One of us could end up getting hurt. Oh, come on. It's going to be fun. Fine. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, be ready to catch me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> this may be interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Gee, uh, Claude's, uh, oh, oh. I'm not too sure about this, you know. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, no, All right. Uh, All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I can't. I can't quite reach. We're gonna have to. Oh, uh, here I got an idea. Let's make things more fun, and I'll balance on this fun-looking inflatable. Oh no no no, Claus! Claus, be careful! Claus! Uh, here wow. we go. Whoa! Uh, here it is. Uh. Wow! Whoa! 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 I better hold on. I better hold on. This is bouncier than I remember. Whoa! Hey, Claus! 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 I got him! I got him! Okay, just bounce real quick, okay? Yay! I did it! I did it! You did it! Whoa! Okay, that's all for today on Claus's Playhouse. Oh, I'm so relieved that you're okay. We're on television. Don't do that. Oh, sorry. Well, this one should do it. I set up a trapdoor right here that leads to a pit of piranhas. Once he steps on it, he'll fall in. Yep, dab, 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 dab. Ah, hey, that's going way too far, you know. I'm gonna get your back. Oh gosh, piranhas. Hey, piranhas. Ah. And now, fairy tales with the crumpet players. So this is the part of the show where we pick stories that are just timeless classics and get the crumpets to act it out. Uh, now today I will be reading my favorite fairy tale of all time, The Three Little Pigs. And because we only have one pig, that's Pedro, Pedro will be playing three roles. And the role of the big bad wolf will be played by Herb the Troll. Are we ready? Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, their mother decided it was time that they leave home to go seek their fortunes. They each went out into the woods to find a place to build a house. The first pig met a man that was pushing a wheelbarrow of straw. Um, please, sir, may I have some straw? I wish to build a house. That's not a good idea. I don't care. 
you just oh uh, I mean um <laughs> uh, I don't care what you say I would like to build a house out of it Wait, was that good enough for you very well so he built a house out of straw but pretty soon the big bad wolf came around uh, this costume is dumb uh, uh, all right fine little pig little pig let me come in! Not, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <gasps> then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And he blew the house into smithereens and it was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> then he ate the little pig. <laughs> Then the second little pig was walking along and found a man carrying some sticks. Please, sir, may I have some of your sticks? I wish to build a house. That is not a good idea. Bowie, I'll do whatever I wish. Very well. So he built a house of sticks. But pretty soon, the wolf came back. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he blew his house into a million pieces. And then it ate the little pig. The third little pig was walking along and found a man pushing a wheelbarrow of bricks. Please, sir, may I have some bricks? I wish to build a house. That is a great idea. So he spent lots and lots of time building a nice, sturdy brick house. Then the wolf came around again. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> but thankfully, it was so sturdy, the wolf's breath could not blow it down. <laughs> then he got an idea. Little pig, tomorrow... There is a carnival coming in town. Perhaps you should come with me. It's at two o'clock. So the little pig went to the carnival the next day one hour early. But he was having so much fun he completely forgot about the wolf. He turned around and saw the wolf walking up the hill. So quickly, he jumped into a great big barrel and rolled in different directions, which scared the wolf. He almost thought that the barrel was alive. Later that day, he went to the pig's house and was very angry. <laughs> that was no living barrel. That was me. So he got another idea. He climbed up the roof of the pig's house and went in through the chimney just like Santa Claus. <coughs> Unfortunately for the wolf, though, the pig was steaming a nice big pot of boiling water under a thing of coal. The wolf fell into this boiling pot and, um, got boiled. And so the pig feasted on the wolf for dinner, and they lived happily ever after. That's a stupid story. I don't know why that's your favorite. Oh, come on. It's a good story. Yep. Oh, well. Ah, uh, there we go. That's perfect. Boy, I just set up the best prank ever for Roxanne. So you see, I tied this nice big ribbon that uh, Pedro let me borrow. And uh, I'm going to tie it to the doorknob. So when she opens the door, it'll pull this ribbon. And on the other end of the ribbon is that little bell right there, you see? And when that rings, it'll shake up the whole closet. And then it'll make all those clothes right there on the pole move. And then that big beach ball that I borrowed from Claus will shoot out and knock her over. And uh, then it'll bounce against this door. And it'll hit the attic door right there. And all these teddy bears, which I borrowed from uh, Bruno. They're not mine. 
will fall on top of her. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna tie this to the door. Okay. Perfect. Oh, here she comes. How stupid does he think I am? I'm not gonna open this door, Louie. I can see the rope. Oh, come on. I already did one prank involving that closet. Why do you think I'm gonna pull another? Because you're an idiot. Whatever, I'm just gonna remove this rope from the doorknob. No, 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 don't do that! So, how's the crash? Oh, oh. Ow. I guess you two have learned a valuable lesson from this, eh? Yeah. No, no more, more pranking. Good. Coming up next on the Rat Pack. Oh, didn't we tell you, Randy? Yeah, since it's our day off, Seymour's taking us down to the horse racing track to do some betting. All right, well, you guys better get together real quick because my car is leaving in exactly half an hour. Make sure to tune in next week.